governor's presentation. We'll have uh, questions from uh, different media houses and uh, we are live streaming this press conference and uh, we'll be getting some questions uh, from online that we'll be able to uh, share with uh, the, the, the committee here this morning. Uh, thank you uh, once again, Governor. You're welcome to, for your presentation. Thank you, Bob. Uh, good morning once again, and welcome to our colleagues from the media. And thank you for accepting our invitation this morning. Uh, as usual, take you through the outcome of the meetings of the two committees, the Monetary Policy Committee and the Financial Stability Committee. So I'll take you through a short presentation that summarizes the discussions or the outcome of the meetings. Uh, so, sh should I be the one handling this? Yes, yes please, let's go ahead. So, starting with the part on the Monetary Policy Committee meetings, as usual, we start by looking at what is happening globally, because we have to put whatever we're doing, whatever is happening in our economy uh, in that context as part of the global economy. And this is just repeating what most of you have already had uh, announced by the IMF. We normally get this information from the World Economic Outlook. And I think there was one revised by the IMF uh, this October uh, that indicated uh, recover across the world with the global economy expected to recover by 5.9 percent 2021 and uh, the recovery will continue in 2022 and this is mainly driven by the opening up of the economies. Uh, most of the COVID restrictions have been lifted in different economies and so uh, international trade is also resuming and uh, of course there is also the, the what we call the best effect because we are comparing 2021 to 2022 that uh, really performed badly uh, with a negative growth. Uh, I think the 3.1 is in 2020, not 2019. So we had the global economy shrinking by 3.1. So building on that negative growth uh, really was easy to get big positive uh, performance. Uh, so if we continue, uh, then we look at our continent, uh, specifically Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, which is also recovering this year, 2021, uh, with a growth of 3.7%. It had also contracted by 1.7%, uh, uh, and I think most of our big economies, are South Africa and Nigeria, are all recording positive uh, growth this year, that it drives the overall uh, performance of the uh, regional economy, the sub-Saharan African economy. Uh, as we proceed to inflation, because at the end of the day, the central bank, we are very interested in what is happening in terms of inflation globally uh, and how that, will, at the end of the day, might impact us. So this year, as the economy is uh, opening up, as uh, uh, demand is increasing, so we've seen increased inflation across the world to 4.3%. Uh, and when you go to the second slide, uh, you look at the commodity prices as just indicative of what is happening across the world with the different prices. Uh, so energy prices, uh, I think last year had really uh, fallen to the lowest we've had ever, and uh, this year it's expected to Trade increase uh, by, this is crude oil mainly, when you talk of energy, it's, I think oil is the biggest uh, component of this uh, index, and so oil is expected to increase by 69.5% this year, and this increase is expected to continue even next year, though with a much lower growth number of 5.7%. Same is seen to the non-energy uh, commodity index uh, and specifically looking at food, uh, this is increasing by 28.1 percent in, uh, in this year. So this is driven by resumption of uh, uh, 
uh, at manufacturing and other activities across the world. Uh, plus, uh, as, as the economies are opening, consumption is increasing. So when you look at this picture, it's, uh, we'll be coming back to that uh, as we look at the domestic economy, but it has positive uh, side of, to us and negative side to us when you look at the crude oil prices. Now focusing on the Rwandan economic performance, again, this, these are numbers already given by the Institute of Statistics, so I won't take much time on this, as uh, we've seen recovery of the economy in the last uh, the first two quarters of this year. Uh, I think uh, we are comparing what happened in the second quarter, big growth of 20.6 compared to a negative growth of uh, negative 12 last year, second quarter last year. As I said, uh, on the global economy, even here when you look at this 20% growth, it's really linked to a big negative growth we had uh, last year, but also linked to resumption of economic activities. And what we are saying here, I think the main message here uh, from us is that when we look at the numbers for the third quarter, we haven't seen the final uh, performance of the economy for the third quarter from Institute of Statistics that will be coming later. But at least what we monitor as a central bank, uh, the frequent economic indicators, this indicates that the economy will continue to grow in the third quarter. In fact, still having strong growth. Like we see, no, yes, we see the composite index of economic activities uh, increasing in real terms by 10.3%. And this is mainly driven by turnovers, both industry and, uh, and services also picking up. Uh, so this gives us confidence that uh, when we see the numbers from the Institute of Statistics uh, uh, by the end of this quarter, uh, the numbers for the second, for the third quarter, we expect to see positive growth. We can't pin on any specific number here, but at least these uh, frequent indicators show that we still have uh, positive growth in the third quarter. Uh, and here we are, we, we are Highlighting a few uh, drivers of this growth, we had uh, a fiscal and monetary uh, measure that we had taken at the beginning of the pandemic. This has really supported uh, some of shielding the, the economy from uh, the worst uh, heat it could have and is also supporting now the economic recovery as the economy is opening up, and the opening up is mainly supported by uh, the vaccination, the rollout. Uh, I think Rwanda is among the most successful in Africa in terms of rolling out vaccination. And so uh, we, we expect that the target the country had given itself of reaching at least 30% by the end of this year will be reached. And already where we are, we see uh, very good uh, developments linked to these uh, vaccine rollouts. Again, the, the good performance is anchored on the good agricultural performance in uh, season B. percent in uh, third
uh, the increase in oil prices has increased our import bill for oil products. But the good thing as we are having bigger uh, growth in exports compared to imports, though the import base is bigger than the export base, the net effect is a reduction in the, in the trade deficit, which is a positive development. On the monetary policy side, uh, again, as you remember, we maintained an accommodative monetary policy for the last, uh, I think, one year since April last year, and this has had uh, impact on the uh, uh, rates. Uh, interbank rate reduced. Uh, we saw when we leave, when we compare uh, last year to this year, we saw that reducing to by seven basis points to 5.2 percent. And lending rates have also shown a uh, downward trend, uh, reducing by 12 basis points to 16.35% uh, the quarter we, we are reporting to last quarter three. A uh, slight increase in the deposit rates, but overall we saw uh, the trend of the interest rates following the trend of the central bank rate. So linked to the good economic performance and uh, these interest developments, we see uh, the money supply increasing. Uh, so money supply supports the economic uh, developments, but also the economic development support the money supply as well. So uh, again, this will come back to, to the impact of this uh, or the components of this when we are talking about the financial stability committee side showing how the performance of the uh, lending uh, uh, volumes increased. Now when we look at inflation, our main uh, objective as, uh, as a, a central bank, we see inflation reducing, in fact, to negative over the last uh, quarter to negative 0.6%. Uh, from 0.7% uh, in, uh, in uh, Q2 of uh, 2020, uh, that should be 2021, not 2020. I remember in 2020 it was still high. Uh, then we, we, we expect overall uh, inflation for this year to be uh, around 0.7%, so to be below uh, 1%. But this is expected to pick up as we see imported inflation linked to the global inflation we've already seen. So we expect this to have an impact on our domestic inflation, picking up to an average of around 5.4% in 2022. Uh, so this is just breakdown giving details of uh, what is behind the numbers we've just seen as uh, uh, mainly the driver of uh, inflation to negative is uh, fresh food inflation. That's to that uh, negative 5.8 in uh, in Q3 uh, from a negative 0 0.3 in uh, in Q1, and this was big enough to offset the increase in energy inflation linked to the increased uh, uh, global oil prices. So let's proceed. Now, from the monetary policy uh, point of view, what we see as the outlook, uh, again as indicated in the Earlier slides, we expect to see the global economy continuing to uh, to grow, uh, to strengthen, and this will have a positive uh, impact on our uh, domestic economic performance. Again, international commodity prices that we've indicated, and uh, as I have just said, are putting pressures on our uh, imported inflation. But again, as you saw, we don't expect that to be uh, much far from uh, our benchmark of 5%. Uh, so I think I've already said this uh, in terms of where we see inflation going forward. And with all that, we, the Monetary Policy Committee has decided to maintain an accommodative monetary policy. And looking at the, the, the economic performance that, or the economic recovery that has started picking up, we feel that the 4.5% that we've maintained over the last uh, more than one year is sufficient enough to continue supporting the performance of the, of the economy or the recovery of the economy. And uh, again, when we look at the inflationary pressures, we, as, as indicated, we expect within the uh, policy horizon, we expect inflation to remain 
within our band of uh, two to eight percent. So briefly, that's what comes out of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Now, looking at the Financial Stability uh, Committee meeting, uh, normally we start with the structure of the financial sector. Nothing much has changed. We've shown you this before, so I won't uh, take much time on this. The banking sector remains uh, the dominant sector within the financial sector and the pension. So th really the, 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 the shares of each subsector hasn't changed much, so I don't have to take much time here. Now we focus on the performance of each subsector of the financial sector. Maybe generally speaking, I would say overall the financial sector had a uh, positive performance uh, uh, with in Q3 and as we've seen also in the first quarters of this year. So focusing on the banking industry, we saw good performance of growth of the assets by 20.5%. Uh, and this is linked, as we will we'll see, uh, uh, linked or supported also the growth of uh, credit. But this was mainly driven by increase in depots and the increase in uh, shareholders' uh, funds. Part of that was the retained earnings from uh, uh, last year. Then uh, on the outstanding credit, as I have just said, uh, we saw so the outstanding uh, loans increasing by 19.1%. And as we see on the second slide, this was mainly driven by uh, new authorized loans that have also increased during the course of this year. And uh, yes, so the, the new authorized loans, as you see, uh, there was good uh, performance. This was supported by one, uh, as we would say, demand side. As the economy was picking up, demand increased, and therefore banks were able to, to uh, get business uh, because uh, economic activities were opening up. But also on the supply side, uh, depots were increasing, shareholders' funds were available, so uh, banks had resources to use to lend. And so uh, this uh, uh, supported the increase of uh, credit to the private sector. Our main focus as a regulator, of course, is on the stability indicators uh, or the soundness indicators, the capital request ratio and the liquidity ratios or, and the quality of the loans. As of September, we saw the capital base of the banks was still strong at 22.2% and our minimum requirement is uh, uh, 15 percent and this has remained strong really over the last uh, couple of years so at least we, we happy that still strong despite the challenges of COVID we've gone through. Uh, Non-performing loans are slightly reduced in uh, September 5.1 compared to a quarter before or even a year before. Uh, which one would be surprised because we are, we are saying we, we see credit risk as the biggest challenge within the banking industry. Uh, but I, I think what we've seen is uh, there has been increase in the, in the, as you see in the, in the, in the uh, press release, there has been increase or big increase in watch category loans. Much of this hasn't really uh, been transferred into a non-performing loans, but this is one area that we are watching closely. And so as, as the base, which is the, the total outstanding loans increased, uh, of course the ratio also, it had also an impact on the ratio of uh, NPRs. In nominal terms, NPR really didn't increase, if anything, it reduced slightly because of some write-offs. So we of course, happy that we still see good quality of the loan portfolio, but we have that concern that we, the watch category has increased and we'll continue uh, monitoring that. Uh, liquidity remains uh, strong, as I said, because we saw good increase in, in depots and uh, retained earnings, so, and the other measures taken by government and the central bank have supported the continued healthy uh, position of liquidity in the banking industry. Uh, so I, I think, generally speaking, on the banks, we say it's it's really uh, uh, healthy and uh, and sound. And as you've seen in their 
uh, publications. We didn't have to bring it here. They still remain also profitable. At least up to up to now, we see healthy profits uh, within the banking industry, uh, and that gives us confidence that we we're still strong enough to weather through the current uh, challenges we are going through with the pandemic. We see the same story with the microfinance institutions, uh, with their assets also growing uh, strongly by in double digit by 16%. And this was uh, again driven by depots and uh, uh, opening up of, uh, of uh, the economy and so uh, increasing uh, uh, increasing their lending, uh, uh, and again, uh, as their uh, clients started uh, servicing their loans, uh, so that supported the increase in uh, uh, their liquidity. Uh, so, same story in terms of the soundness indicators, uh, strong uh, capital base, strong uh, liquidity levels, and uh, the NPLs also reduced in September uh, this year compared to September uh, last year. So same story really, uh, as we've just summarized on the banking side. The insurance sector also remained uh, strong. Uh, we saw the assets growing uh, and mainly <coughs> the, the insurance sector was mainly driven by uh, investment uh, income. Uh, as you know, they still have challenges with their underwriting business. But at least for now, we, we've seen healthy performance within the industry driven by reduced uh, losses, uh, greater reduced losses and improved investment income. Uh, the soundness indicators of the, this sector are also strong. Uh, I think here yeah, they're just giving details of the subsectors of the subsector of uh, insurance. Uh, we have public insurance, we have non-life, which you normally call general insurance and life insurance, and as you can see, all of them uh, performed even better than last year, and really their performance went double digit growth. On the public pension, uh, good performance again. We see uh, increased uh, assets of the of RSSB, and this is mainly from investment income and. Uh, Last year, we had seen slightly reduced uh, contributions because of people had lost jobs, but this year that has uh, recovered and uh, we see contributions increasing again. So on the payment system, uh, strong growth from last year, uh, so mainly driven by mobile financial services, as you can see, uh, in fact, when you look here, we are giving, uh, uh, comparing last year to this year, but if we compared with 2019, the growth is really exponential because between uh, Q3 last year uh, and maybe Q1, uh, the, there was a big difference. So when you compare even Q3 last year to Q3 this year, still the growth is still big, 20% uh, in mobile uh, payments. and. Uh, the number of subscribers have also increased. Uh, so, as we say, this is maybe the positive uh, outcome of COVID. We saw many people uh, start using digital financial services, which was a positive development from the challenges of COVID. And this just supported our drive to, to cashless uh, uh, economy. One I would say, I don't know if we call it a blip or a challenge, was on uh, Momope. Momope contributed a lot to the increase of use of digital financial services. And this was mainly because it was zero rated from last year, from last year uh, uh, at, at the onset of the pandemic in March. And so this year, uh, the biggest uh, telecom, uh, MTN, reintroduced the charge at 0.5%. And this had an, an immediate impact, as it was expected anyway, of, uh, of the use of uh, this uh, facility. So as you can see in terms of value, the, it almost reduced more than, uh, to less than half of what uh, it was before the increase. 
but as government is working with those stakeholders to mobilize the citizens to understand that the this facility is, is, is necessary, going digital is necessary, and there's no way you can do it uh, without any fee. Uh, so, and I think, as you remember, this was originally charged at 1% before the pandemic. So though it was reintroduced, but was reintroduced at a much lower uh, rate. And so uh, I think it's about the education and understanding of the, of the need uh, and the benefits of digital channels. So we hope, though there's this big drop, we hope with a campaign that's about to start, we'll see uh, this picking up again. At least many merchants had uh, uh, tested and enjoyed the, the benefits of going digital. So going forward, in terms of conclusion, uh, I've, I've already said this, we, we saw uh, the financial sector really resilient, and this was mainly linked to timely actions uh, from the regulatory side, from the monetary policy side, and from the fiscal side, from government side. So all this supported uh, the resilience of the economy. Again, we had done a lot of reforms, regulatory reforms, uh, since uh, 2018. And this had helped to strengthen the capital base, the liquidity base, uh, governance of our financial institutions. And so that supported the resilience of the sector as well. But also that had driven good performance uh, with good uh, uh, profits and uh, part of that big part of that was retained even before the, uh, the pandemics, increasing their capital bases. And so all these factors worked together to position our financial sector in a strong way to wither through the challenges we've been facing. As said earlier, the uh, vulnerabilities are still there, especially on the, on the credit side. But as we say here, we'll continue to uh, focus on supervisory interventions uh, to ensure the detection of risks, uh, especially on the uh, credit risks, and therefore proper provisions done uh, for, to, to, to avoid any uh, shock in terms of uh, bad loans coming at the same time without a, any proper provisioning. So at least that's what we've been doing, engaging the financial institutions. Again, we'll uh, focus on the operational risks, especially on the uh, IT-related, uh, like cyber security and business continuity. And we have been incre we've increased our focus on uh, money laundering and financing of terrorism across the financial sector. So briefly, that's what we had as a summary from the uh, meetings of the Monetary Policy Committee and Financial Stability Committee for this quarter, uh, third quarter of 2021. So, Bob, back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Governor. And now we are going to take uh, questions from uh, media houses, uh, journalists, uh, friends that are here with us. I would like to ask them, uh, when you're ready to ask your question, your name and the media house that uh, you're representing. Uh, We'll start from Mushobra no kuza kuza mchinya Rwanda. Eh, no wundi nda baza mchinya Rwanda. Kazi. Eh, nitwa Hakizimana Danieli nkorera Radio Flash FM na Flash TV birumvikana. Eh, ngi kibazo mbaza hanza aha abaturage bafite impungenge z'uburyo agaciro kifaranga ry'u Rwanda imbere y'idorari kagenda karushaho gutakaza agaciro abantu bakibaza batise eh nk'abanki nkuru hari ikizere mwa habaturage ko ibi bitazakomeza gufata indi ntera hanyuma ubwo mukana nabijyanisha no kuvuga ngo ese iri zamuka ry'ibiciro ku masoko muza mahanga harakorwa iki kugira ngo ritazakomeza gukoma mu nkokora ibiciro ku masoko yo mu Rwanda hanyuma ikindi eh hari ikindi yihanza aha bantu bibaza cyuko ngo hari bamwe mu bantu bafite amazu bakodesha ariko bahisemo kwishyuza abayakoreramo mu madorari aho kwishyira mu manyarwanda ubwo mutubwire niba icyo kintu mwabamukize subundikira nemewe murakoze 
murakoze cyane hari ikindi kibazo from Serge murakoze nitwa Serge radukunda nkorera igihe nge mfite ibibazo bibiri icya mbere ni ikijyanye nuko muri kamena mwe mwatangaje ko urwanda ruri mu myiteguro yatangira gukoresha digital currency twagira tumenye urwo rugendo rugeze he ese umunyarwanda azabyungukira miki icya kabiri ni ikijyanye na cryptocurrency hari company twabonye yatangiye kwamamuza mu Rwanda yitwa Yerocard iri mu bucuruzi bwa ma cryptocurrency cyane cyane bitcoins twagira tumese ikoreshwa ry'iri faranga mu Rwanda riremeye riremewe iki kigo murakizi mudama kurarambe kuri ingingo urakoze urakoze Serge a kindi kibazo murakoze nitwa Jean Pierre Nizayimana nandikira tarifa Rwanda nagira ngo nyako wa gavana mu magambo avunaguye mu ibyo mutubwiye mu abanyarwanda batumva icyongereza mu bahe incamake ese hakubiye miki mutubwire ubukungu bw'u Rwanda ifaranga ry'u Rwanda ikibazo gihari mwigeze gukomozaho cyama banke ni numwenda murabiteganyiriza iki mu magambo make murakoze ndirango reka tubanze dusubize ibyo byabajijwe then dusubize bindi so icyambere agaciro kw'ifaranga kwi dollari ndirango buri gihe tujya tubabwira yuko dute bitewe n'imiterere ya ubukungu bwacu ko bimeze uyu munsi turi gihugu kiri mu nzira y'amajyambere kifite kwihuta mu majyambere gifite kwihuta mu ishora mari eh gikene ibintu byinshi biturutse hanze ibintu byinshi biturutse hanze bifasha muri iyo shora mari kandi unfortunately nta nta mutungo kamere mwinshi dufite udufasha ku ku kuduha amadevise menshi cyane mu gihe gitoya uko rero tugenda tuzamura ibyo twohereza amahanga ntabwo birashobora kuba byinshi ngo bingane nibyo dutumiza amahanga ibyo dutumiza amahanga bigomeza ari byinshi kurusha ibyo twohereza amahanga icyo gihe rero kubera iyo mitere y'ubukungu buri gihe amadorari amadevise akenerwa aruta amadevise dukura hanze mu byo twohereza hanze bigatuma haguma hari cyo giciro kiki kiyongera ukurikije abashaka nabagurisha twebuke tubabwire no kwe dukurikije imitere y'ubukungu na na namahame yuko ubukungu wabuteye ntabwo ari ikibazo cyagombye ku imikorere y'abantu kuko bya bibihabaye mwo guhindagurika ku biciro by'ifaranga bitagende kuri economic fundamentals sinzo kuna kivuga mu kinyarwanda ariko ku mitere y'ubukungu kamvuge ibintu bigize ubukungu kuko tubabwiye umunsi ngo nka central bank tugiye gufunga ntabwo ifaranga rizongera gutagaciro twa tugiye gutera ibazo kurusha kurire kuko bimeze uyu munsi kuko icyo gihe Uh, ushora kubifunga rikagira igiciro ki kitari cyo igiciro cyo twita eh uh, cyatwe uh, igiciro cyabaringo iki gicuro kitari cyo rero bituma guhangana kwifaranga ryacu ku ruhando nk'umuza mahanga bitagaciro ku bwabyo uko ifaranga rigenda na nimitere y'ubukungu ni nako rishobora gufasha mu mihahirane ku rwego nk'umuza mahanga abakora ibintu mu Rwanda bikabohera kwa babicuruza hanze ariko turi funze icyo gihe twaba dusana aho tugiye gushigikira abakora ibintu hanze kuba ari bo bakomeza kubicuruza mu Rwanda kuko icyo gihe birakorohera ku kugura amadevise ngo uje kugura ibintu hanze kuko igiciro cyifaranga kikomeza gifunze ariko wa wundi wakoze ibintu byo mu Rwanda ashaka kujya gucuruza hanze kwera ko ifaranga y'u Rwanda yabikoze mwana ajya gucuruza hanze nabicuruza hanze biratuma abona amafaranga makeya bizamuca intege kugira ngo akomeze akore ibintu yoreza mahanga 
so in 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 the sense of what I saw and I'm watching your one that sure has a radical now could be a you caught no go have a more uko guta karaka got you half you got a no can a hagatia got under to nagata to kumaka to get to one a ribi sounds gave it to no kongo watch kogu tea candy be she get it up who come as a good is in bearing and as a quarter of you can bear it ari zikora zibicuza imbere ari zikora zibyohereza mahanga iyo miterere ya uko guhindagurika ku giciro cy'ifaranga bishigikira ko tuzamura domestic production ko tuzamura ibikorerwa mu gihugu naho ndo giye kurifunga utarabona ukuzamura ibyohereza mahanga watuma waheza hasi nganda ziwawe ugahora wakira ibintu biturutse hanze gusa ni uko nagerageza kubisobanura ko nubwo ruko bimeze ariko mu rwego rw'ubukungu muri rusange ntabwo ari ikintu kiri twavuga iki te impungenge twagombye gushaka ko uko dushaka turwana nacyo ni ibintu bimwe bifata umwanya ku nukurwana kongera ibyo twaheza amahanga kandi ku yubonye ire by'imibare yacu ufashe nk'imyaka 5 ishize cyangwa ingahe bigenda bizamuka uko bigenda bizamuka niko byongera agaciro ifaranga ryacu niko nicyo gisubizo ntabwo ari gisubizo gusa cyo kuvuga ngo turahagaritse igisubizo nuko ukomeza kugenda twongera ibyo twaheza amahanga kandi bikomeza kugenda byiyongera umwaka kuwundi kubyo bitanga ikizere kuko ariko nyene nk'igihugu kiri mu gisaba ishora mu gihuse byo bikomeza byo dukena kuva amahanga tusarashobora gukorera hano byo biracyari byinshi ku kibazo cya kibiciro cya cya nabivuze yuko irebye kuri kuri inflation yo yo mu mwaka utaha uyu munsi twasaga na turi munsi ya zero mwaka utaha izazamuka igere hafi kuri gatano n'ibice kwijana ibyo akenshi biturutse kuri ya inflation iturutse hanze nubwo ibiciro byo hanze byazamutse bikatuzane inflation ariko natwe dufitiye akamaro ko ibyo twaheza amahanga byazamuye agaciro kabyo already wabibonye muri mu kuzamuka kwa exports zacu ikiza nuko nubwo biza bikongera inflation yacu ntabwo ijya hejuru cyane igipimo twihaye fatizo cyagatano kwijana ku mwaka so twumva rero nabyo nta mpungenge biteye bizagiramo uko kuzamura gato kuva twa turi uyu munsi ariko nta ntabwo ntabwo nanone biteye ikibazo ku bukungu muri rusange eh uko bwa bimeze mu mwaka uta kwaka ubukode madora birabujijwe ubwo ngira ngo buri gihe twahora twibutse itangazo twatanze twahitanze cyangwa 2015 cyangwa 2016 tubishyo kugurisha ibintu mu Rwanda mu madevise birabujijwe kwaka ubukode mu madevise burabujijwe ubwo icyo tubi tuba twatangiye utangazo twanabikanguriye abantu nuko wowe ukodesha ntwagombye kubyemera amazu manini yo dushobora kugeraho turabi turabihagarika ariko biragoye kuzamenya inziri mu muri karise yunaka y'umuntu umwe nundi ariko ibyo bira ntabwo byemewe birabujijwe kandi hari nitangazo yatanzwe tumaze kwibutsa nka kangahe Serge ngira ngo ari ukuntu abantu bafata ibintu bakabigira binini cyane ngira ngo itwavuze yuko turimo turabyiga ibyenanye na 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 central bank digital currency turimo turabyiga ntabwo turagera tuvuga ngo tugiye kubitangiza ntabwo rero nakubwira ngo tuzabitangiza ejo cyangwa ejo bundi so ni ni ibintu bikiri mu nyigo muri iyo nyigo inirangira nizagaragaza nicyo akamaro bya bifitiye abanyarwanda niturangiza iyo nyigo nibwo tuzafata icyemezo ko tuyitangiza twayikoresha kubera kufitiye akamaro abanyarwanda cyangwa se tugasanga bidafitiye akamaro ubukungu bwacu n'abanyarwanda muri rusange tugahita mu kutayikoresha so ntabwo rero turavuga ngo tugiye kwitangiza ahubwo turi mu nyigo zo kureba nibikenewe iyo nyigo nirangira nibwo tuzashobora no kuvuga ngo dora akamaro bifite dore ko tugiye kwitangiza dore ko izakora Crypto currency ni nguo hasi zidi tu kwa jiri na mawa nuko ba kuyitonde la kuko uyumunsi la chuo za crypto currency hani mo vidi nzuti ha ha nuzaji muruguana nguo fata crypto currency vunja wa manya ruguanda alikuwa ni muzaji mikuwa na buhanga kai gura akai gurisha na buhanga ba wengine hara wanda fite ukwa vidi nza na butuzaji bokontrol ukwa bikorwa ukwa na bogo muruguanda 
ari amabanki ari iki ntabwo yo dufite bwo kuvunja cryptocurrency mu Rwanda icyo giye rero tugira abantu inama ku ikindi harimo amanyanga menshi cyane kuri rwego mpuza amahanga muri rya cryptocurrency so bituma rero twumva ko abantu babyitondera kuko nta 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 bugenzuzi bifite bwimbitse kuri rwego mpuza amahanga so abantu rero bagomba ubugi bigiye kubijyamo ubwo no kwirengera n'ingaruka zabyo nta kibazo turabona kirindi bya dutera ku bukungu uyu munsi ngo tubihagarike tubirwanye nko kwa bivugo bimwe byari byasaze barabirwanya icyo tukora no kugira inama abantu gusa ko babyitondere eh so Jean Pierre ngango icama cyenda za kwitanga nyuma tujya kurangiza reka twakire niho hari ibindi bibazo ubwo icama twaza kwigara ko nyuma Thank you governor we have a question from uh, Sabiti Murakoze cyane I'll ask my question in Kinyarwanda because it's very important in Kinyarwanda than in English. Uh, twabonye ko uh, COVID yagize uruhare runini mu kuzamura imikoreshereze ya cashless cyangwa amafaranga atara amafaranga yo muntu ki uh, Central Bank yafata umwanzuro wo ku wo gusaba ibigo by'imari cyangwa za nuza za za telecom cyangwa ibigo bitanga services za mobile money gukuraho ibikiro ngirango mwa bikoze nka mezi nka tatu ni batarabiri n'igice abantu barabyitabira hashize gihe basubiza we bikiro mwabonye ngaruka yi yo gusubiza ibyo bikiro ko byagabanyiza amafaranga y'abantu n'ikizere mu gukoresha mobile money uh, mu Rwanda murabizi ko neza ko uh, ikintu kiri gutuma kashi leta zamuka ni ikibazo cy'ibikiro ibikiro uh, ukibwa na MTN ukibwa na service ugiye kwishuraho ukibwa n'umuntu n'umuntu kugitike mbese ngewe iki kibazo ndakibaza mu buryo nakwita n'ibwa kababaro kuko uh, nishigikiye cashless ariko mbabazwa nuko eh nta murongo ufatika ugaragara ugaragaza ko ari mu nubushake mu bigo by'imari cyangwa mu bigo bya bitanga service za mobile money mu kugabanya ibikiro so nabazaga ese nka central bank cyangwa banki nkuru y'u Rwanda ni iki muri gukora ku buryo nibura abantu bamenyere banabyitabire ishana kwijana niba tabe nijana guko ni burayi nago bakoresha cash les burundu bayikoresha na cash kuko genda abantu bakakubaza bati do you want to pay cash or 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 digital so so ndumba ko byose birashoboka ko twakoresha cash les cyangwa amafaranga atare y'umuntu ki ariko tukakosha na amafaranga y'umuntu gusa ndashaka kumenya ni ibiki biri gukorwa mu byukuri mu buryo bufatika kugira ngo ibigo nka MTN nibindi bitworohereze kuko ndagurugero izi izi code za MTN ugera mu bacuruzi bakakubira bati MTN code ya barayitwa barayitwaye cyo ni cyambere ukagira kundi mu cyuzi akakubira ati je code sinyikoresha kubera ko ninyikoresha bituma abanje amafaranga menshi akakubira ati nyishura ariko undenze rezo nayo kubikoza urumba nk'umunyarwanda ni gute se wakwishyura service ya 1500 ukarenzaho ni jana ryo kubi ryo kubikuza ikibazo tugeze kukibaza honorable monique sanzabaganwa avuga ko ngo ni ubushishozi w'umuntu agomba umucuruza agomba kureba in terms of volumes nuko buga ngo mubare mwinshi w'abantu bamwishuye hari washingira abo ni nyungu ariko ngiye cyo gisubizo nagifashe mu nk'igisubizo kitakomeye abanyarwanda barababaye muri make ku kintu cya service ya cashless cyane cyane bitewe na MTN idatanga service zayo ubwayo nta gitanga service zayo neza urugero ndago urugero umuntu ushaka ufite business icyuruza akabutiki kugira ngo MTN muhe code bimwe twara mezi no kwandika inyandiko no kugenda gutonda umurongo kandi byakaba yari ibintu bikorerwa kuri irembo umuntu agasaba kodi agashyiramo ibyangombwa bye ibintu byose byagiye muri digital ubu ngo 
eh so ugasanga abamutari ubwabo kandi abamutari no bafatiye service muri iki gihugu so sinzi kabisa ni ikintu kibabaje abanyarwanda nubo bata batari hano ariko nge ndabivavugiye ku kintu cya mobile money payment murakoze thank you sabiti uh, let me react to that first okay. I, i think uh, but I think nubwo nemeranya nawe ko hari byagombye gukorwa ariko ngira ngo ukiza ni binasobanuka iba abantu babisobanuraga neza byarushaho kumvikana urumva nko kubisobanura bitujya kugura ibintu byamagana 5 gatanga ijana ntabwo ari byo ni wo munyamakuru bisobanura icyo ugurumva umuturage usanzwe hari mu kibazo nibyo n'impamvu navuze nti hari mwo gahunda ya leta yo kwigisha abantu kugira ngo ikibazo kinakomeye gihari ni ni no kubyumva na mbere yo kuburemere bw'ibyo wacu kuko uyu munsi yugiye kugura ibintu by'ibihumbi 10 ukoresheje irya mu mope utanga amafaranga 150 bihumbi 10 utanga amafaranga 150 so ntabwo ari magana 5 ngo utange amafaranga ijana ntabwo ari byo so ibihumbi ijana ikintu waguze ibihumbi ijana uratanga amafaranga magana 5 deka dusubire kuri kuki aya mafaranga yatanga urumva ibi bigo bicuruza ni business ni nko kwavuga ngo wowe ugiye guhinga numara kweza uraza ibintu kwisoko bitangira ubuntu ntabwo bya gukundiye buta ntabwo wasubira ngo wongere uhinge nabo uriye nwo muri mwa wabo niho bahinga kugira ngo bashobore gukomeza guhinga bacuruza ibyo bacuruza ku bantu nuko bagomba kugira icyo babona kibafasha gukomeza gukora nako kazi kibafasha gukomeza kwa niko shora mari ikibazo gihari no kuvuga ngo nkuko bavuze tubirahenda ikibazo no kwibaza ngo birahenda gute byumve neza ko nutanga ibihumbi 10 baraguca 50 ntabwo ari gutanga 1500 ngo baguca ijana so ndi tujya kuvuga ngo tubihende rero tubishyire muri context ugo mu cyangwa se uko nabivuga ariko tubyumve neza naho ubundi hari ubwo bikabiriza n'umuturage wakabigiza kumva in fact na wa mucuruza ari bwemva gusa ko umuca amafaranga kumva iyo ugiye kureba muri 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 gahonda ihari yo kugeza kwigisha abantu iyo fashe umucuruzi wakoreshaga akoresheje momope gus yishyuza amafaranga ajya kuri konte direct twakuye ikiguzi cyuko amafaranga ajya kuri konte icyo ngicyo twa twifite ubushobozi nka central bank amafaranga ajya kuri konte direct ukabigeranya n'umucuruzi wirwa cuza yakira cash abara afite abakozi hano na hari yabashora kumwe ibyo cash afite yo risk araza gufata imodoka ni mugoroba ajye muri amafaranga kuri konte haru gusanga ikiguzi bimufata kirenze kure cyane ya digital payment so ikibazo rero ni ukubyumva kurusha kuba icyo kiguzi gihenze central bank adufatanyije nabandi twashyizeho hari inyigiri mu ikorwa twumviza arangira uyu mwaka kutararangira igaragaza ikiguzi kuri digital financial services cyagombye kuba kiri ku ruherwego kugira ngo bifashe ari aba bashora mari bazana izo izo products ari naba 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 consumers wabo so icyo twakoze kubera ko nk'iki kibazo cyo MTN waruvuze cya kibiciro kingiye mu mope bari bari ikwe hashize igihe hashize umwaka urenga so bagaragariza leta nubwo twabikoze mu gushaka gushishikariza abantu gukoresha ikora na buhanga mu kwishyurana kwera covid ariko ntabwo byakomeza gukorwa bikiga ko nta ntabwo byakunda natwe nti twashobora komeza ku gusport iyi product niba tudashobora kuyigira ikintu dukura icyo leta yakoze ni ukuganira nabo bumvikana ko bagabanye igiciro kuva kuri rimwe kwijana kujya kuri zero nibice bitano kwijana iyo nyiga hizagaragarira wende zagaragaza uko bimeze na inyigo ni mara gusoka ntabwo ari amategeko tuzashyira ngo tubategeke ngo ni mu manure kuno ubucuruza ariko wenda itanga ikerekezo uko bimeze so nabo bakaba bashobora kubona uko igiciro ubundi uko cyagombye kuba kimeze numva rero ikibazo gikomeye ngira ngo ni imyumvire kurusha really the cost ibyo imikorere yabo icyo ni kindi ntabwo ndi ubigiyemo ubwo icyo ni kindi ariko tubanze twumve kuri igiciro no kubyimikorere nabyo mu mwaka ushize 
COVID je leta yafatanije nawe kukwira kwizi iyi namba ntabwo ari kintu ruri wasabaga ngo mare imyaka ingahe abamotari rwose hariho ikipi ibikurikirana bitse good deputy governor is here muri minicom bari bafite gahunda bona minai city na na, na MTN kuko ni yari fitiyo product kugira ngo bayikwira kwizi kandi mu gihe gito yageze ku bantu benshi cyane ibindi bibazo bya birimo nyuma ntabwo ndu bitinda ariko ku kibazo cy'igiciro icyo nshaka gusaba abanyarwanda nuko ntabwo bizoroha ko tubona izi service ku buntu kuko icyo gihe ndi tuvuga ngo zajya ku buntu abashora mu bari ntabwo bazabijyamo birahenze icyo ntabwo tukize ibwo niyo mpamvu hari hiyo nyigo ariko rwose kuvuga ngo bizaboneka ku buntu igihe cyose ntabwo byakunda hanyuma rero habemo kumenya ngo ni nanga gukoresha uyu umuyoboro wikora na buhanga ntaguma muri cash isanzwe esane ho nungukira cyangwa na hari iyo nkoresheje bira bya kunyunga cyanyoheza kurusha ibindi so ngira ngo nicyo iyo iyo gahunda yo kwigisha abantu ya letri mu iteganya izibanda ho cyane yes please that um, I think it's in the three gukora in addition to Quigisha, um, uh, Jabara Vishura, Changwa, Avishurgua, Ninogusira, who, uh, Uburjogo Quishura, Butandu Kanye, Kujango Habemo, Nabita competition, Murio space. So Nuja Kugura service. Ubu fitu budi yabo tano kani shaba ra kuishur. Ushaba gukore shama mope. Ichiwa zote kwa ridu fite nuko wenye nguo mnu shati kuishur. Akore shaje bank transfer mbere bjiara tindag. So one of the things that we are doing also is to improve the the interbank payments and make sure that they're 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 happening faster. And I think it's something that we are proud of. Yesterday I was seeing a testimony of somebody on on Twitter appreciating how fast interbank payments are now. So, uh, whatever service you have to pay, you have to pay for your money, you have to Airtel money, you have to transfer, you have to pay for your money directly from your account to their account. Icyo gihe tuba duhaye abaturage options zitandukanye bashobora gukoresha zifite cost structures zitandukanye ku buryo umuntu ashobora kwihitiramo ikimworohereza so cashless ntabwo ari mo mope gusa nubwo muri no minsi ariyo yadufashije ariko uko tugenda dushyiraho channel zindi bizafata bizafasha abaturage koroshya uburyo bishyura imyishuranire hagati yabagura nabagurisha thank you thank you can have clema Thank you very much. My name is Klema for Reuters. Uh, given a 20% growth in Q2, uh, do you expect the economic growth to beat the 5%, 5.1% growth this year uh, projection? And um, what are the current levels of foreign currency reserves? Thanks. Thank you, Klema. Yes, we have Collins. Masatura. Marakoze cyane una bu governor ku ngingo mwari mumaze gukomoza aho mukanya yajyanye n'igiciro cyo guherekanya amafaranga kwishyura hifashe ibikora na buhanga hari ubutumwa warubaye utanze ariko ubu buhaya abanyarwanda kugira ngo bize kutworohera kumenya abanyarwanda ikiciro cy'abanyarwanda ubwohereje ngira ngo waza kubigira clear tumenye nabacuruzi cyangwa nabagura nubwo ku ruhande rumwe hari gihe n'ucuruza nabaza kuba umuguzi kubera ko mu byukuri kirimo hariya birashoboka ntago ndi uvugira abanyarwanda bose imvuga yuko bidahenze ariko ikintu cy'ambere kigihenda ne n'urutonde rw'ibyo umuntu yishyura ndatanga urugero yuko ubunona ha ugiye mu ndege ukishyura tike y'indege hanyuma wageramo bakazajya baguha facture ya Fanta wanyoye bya kuvuna kurushuko babishyira ku tike y'indege babibaze byose wo uragenda uka uga consommer ariko nta gumenya yuko buriya na ya Fanta bayibariyemo cyangwa n'ikindi wafashe nibi ngibi rero kubijyanye no kwishyura na hifashe ibikora na buhanga iyo ngiye nk'umuguzi ntagura bakambwira ngo inyanya ni 200 Na mguu yangu ndakuishiwa hii fasheri kwa na wuhanga kama mguu yangu rashiraho 
nayo kubikuza ndetse nta nubwo banabisobanura gutyo nkuko muri mu kuvuga izi tarifu zivuza inshyashya zivuga ngo zero ni bice bitano ku buryo menya ngo nanga hendenza ho bakubwira ngo urashiraho yo kubikuza mukajya muri kwa guhahira gushingiye kuri rya tangazo rya bene rivuga urabikuza yiki mwakomeje mukohereza nyifashijwe ikora na buhanga mu byukuri byakabaye byiza tuzi ngo ubwo butumwa burgenewe abaguzi nubwo ngo abacuruzi kumenya ngo nibo mwari mubwiye yuko iki kiguzi kizajya ku bacuruzi kubera ko nabo izi service barimo guhabwa zirimo ziraborohera kutajya kuri banki gutonda umurongo kwikorera amafaranga ubujura nibindi bikamenyekana niba ari abacuruzi niba ari umuguzi iki kiguzi mwaranzuye nibi bigo mukavuga ngo rikakije ku muguzi abacuruzi babe babizi bagishyire ku giciro nti bakabwira umuntu yuko ari bugure inyanya akamuha n'amafaranga yo kujya kubikuza kandi we yakoresha amafaranga kohereza cyangwa kuyashaka mu bundi buryo bikaba byagenwa abacuruzi bakaba babizi bakabishyira ku giciro mu buryo bumvika ndatekereza ko ikibazo cyanjye cyumvikanye murakoze murakoze masatura so i want to respond to that again immediately cool ngira ngo ni byiza ko ubisobanu jeneza ubutumwa nubwa abacuruzi eh iri ya service itangwa ihabwa abacuruzi mainly nokuvuga ngo umucuruzi afite ibintu bye ubundi yari kwirwa acuruza yakira kashi byaje ni mugoro akayibara akayijyana muri bank nizere ko abacuruzi bacu bajijutse nta rukibika amafaranga mu rugo ubwo ndavuga ngo iyo bwije yajyana muri bank cyangwa se akajya kubikuza bigeze hagati arajya kubikuza so ibyo ni umucuruzi uri mu habwe iyo service yo kuvuga ngo wowe icare mu aho curiza amafaranga urayakira kwikorana buhanga hitajya kuri konte yawe uwo mwanya utagombye kujya kuya kuyabika cyangwa se n'uyakenera urayakurura kwikorana buhanga uyakoreshe ibyo ushaka utagombye kuyabikuza Benel yatanze amabwiriza nta mucuruzi wemeye guca umuguzi ikiriya kiguzi gitangwa kukwishyura ukoresheje ikorana buhanga byatangiwe na mbere tugikoresha makarita nibi rero dukoresha telefone kwishyura ntabwo umuguzi mucuruzi yemerewe guca umuguzi ya mafaranga yongerwa ho kugira ngo ukoreshe ikorana buhanga kuko ni service rimwe habwa umucuruzi nayo mpamvu ngo ngo umucuruzi we yiri wacuruza acuruje ibihumbi jana araza gutanga magana 5 kuri ubwo nurugero busa dufatiye kuri ya 0 n'ibice bitano bya bya MTN ariko nkuko PC yarabivuze uko hagenda haza izindi za yindi miyoboro wenda bizana henduka kurushaho cyangwa se ariko byumvikane ko ubundi miyoboro yari isanzwe iriya makarita yarahenze kurusha iyo ni kabiri n'ibice bitano kwijana so ariko umuguzi ni uhabwe umucuruzi n'uhabwe service niwe ugomba kwishyura aya mafaranga ntabwo agomba kuyashyira mu gicuru mu ki kuko no kuvuga ngo yewe nyinza kugura nkoresheje cash ntabwo nagombye gutanga make kurushuje kugura akoresheje ikorana buhanga no kuvuga ngo ntabwo hagombye mu kuba mu gusumbanya abaguzi wowe mucuruzi uri mucuruza no ufite inyungu kuba uya kwishyura akoresheje ikorana buhanga kuko birakurinda kujya muri bank so byumvikana rero ko ari abacuruza aribo bagomba kwishyura kiriya kiguzi kiyongeraho ukoresha ikorana buhanga thank you Njirangwa and immediately let, let, let me respond to, to Kremer's questions on the, the the growth of the economy beyond 5.1%. I would request be patient. You we'll get to this next week. We are working on revising our uh, 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 economic framework. So next week we will get an official communication from the Minister of Finance. On I would say revised. I expect it will be revised, but that will be given next week. Uh, our level of reserves today we are at uh, we are at 5.6 months of imports and we expect to end there at six months of imports. Thank you, Governor. I have a question from New Times, Collins. Good morning. My name is Collins. I write for the New Times Daily. Uh, brief question with regard to the rising globe. Um, crude oil prices, what's the worst case scenario or what's the worst case scenario that it could have on, on, on economic growth, especially given that our projections indicate that it is likely to persist up to the first quarter of next year 
and what have you found to be the impact of the subsidies by the government uh, through Rura um, to, to manage the prices? Is it, is it effective in curbing inflation? Has it been effective in some areas and maybe not others? Then as a follow-up question is, um, you mentioned an increase of, of exports. Uh, maybe briefly, what are we exporting and also what are we importing? Is it intermediary goods, is it capital goods? And um, as a clarification to the slide that was shown on, um, on the decrease of Momo, I hope it's more clear in the press release on where were the numbers as of end of August and, wh and where the numbers are now. The slides were not very clear. In the press release. Yeah, okay. And lastly, a clarification. And lastly, sir, a clarification. You mentioned that there is an increase in the number of loans in, in what category, in what sector are these loans? In what, in what sectors are these loans? And maybe, do you have an idea why, or do you have a theory of why? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Collins. We have one, uh, two, a question from the East African online. By the way, I don't know if you, I, I think it's the first time we are meeting Thierry. Uh, <laughs> Thierry, <laughs> Thierry Carissa is our new chief economist, uh, so let him take on the economic question. Um, and thank you, Governor. So you asked about, uh, if I get you well, the, the, the link between um, rise in some international prices and what will happen uh, in the worst case scenario. Okay. Yes, for oil prices, as you can see, our projection for 2022 is 5.4%. And this, this is already incorporating this information uh, that we're showing in regarding international prices for oil um, increasing. And we know it's going to increase, especially uh, it's increasing this year and it's continuing increasing next year up to at least the first half of next year. So, but as uh, Governor was explaining, our inflation today is already very low. So this is going to put pressure in imports, uh, the import component of our basket. It's going to affect our, uh, our inflation in 2022. But since it's coming from already a lower level, that's how it reaches the 5.4. So you have two main drivers of it, imported um, components that's coming from this pressure from increase in international prices, including oil prices, and that is affecting our energy component of the, of the basket, but also the fact that our economy is recovering fast, uh, uh, as, uh, as we have discussed. So I hope this, this answers. If I can also take on the export uh, uh, question, uh, you are saying why our exports are increasing. So there are, there are different um, parts. Uh, actually, it's mainly international prices are going up so it's not only affecting import, it's also good for our export. Uh, we'll see, we've seen traditional export increasing, so those are coffee, tea, and the key minerals. We've seen also non-traditional export increasing. So traditional exports have increased by 43%, um, and by 47% for non-traditional exports. So that's a good sign because it's mainly domestic manufacturing products and um, horticulture products. So basically, almost all export categories have grown. For imports, the increase is coming from energy, definitely, because of this increase in prices. So we have 75% uh, uh, increase in import of energy products. But we also have uh, capital goods, uh, so intermediate goods that's growing at 7%, which is a good indicator of you know, what is coming as inputs for our manufacturing sector and consumer goods also by 10%. So I would say that the increase in import is driven by recovery in energy because the year before, 2020, we had very low, relatively low uh, energy imports. Also the price was low. As the price is picking up, it's driving import. 
but as the prices are picking up also is driving almost all our exports. Efficiency of the of the fuel suburb, the suburb cities by rural on on fuel. What's the efficiency so far, or what's the impact or lack thereof? Are you talking about public transport? Which 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 subsidy? So since um, May this year, the government has been sub like subsidizing the fuel, petrol and diesel. Yeah, Deputy Governor will handle that. Uh, thank you, Collins. I, I think on, on the subsidies or, or the tax, you know, uh, relief that were given to petroleum importers so that the prices uh, are kept um, at, at uh, a lower level than, than the increase, it has had a direct impact uh, on our inflation already. Um, uh, that, that is the, the immediate effect, and, and you can see it um, you know, on, 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 on the numbers as well, where our inflation is at 0.7%. And, and I believe um, even going forward, as you've seen in, in Governor's presentation, where we can see energy prices uh, globally increasing by about 70% per year um, uh, this year, uh, these subsidies are really, are really welcome to make sure that we sub stabilize uh, prices of essential products uh, as, as our economy recovers. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, Governor. I'll, I'll comment on, uh, I was trying to get the data on the weekly, but we can get you the weekly statistics, uh, August, and then immediately post uh, uh, reintroduction of fees. Uh, but on the watch category loans, uh, we've seen an increase in, uh, um, in uh, the commercial real estate sector, uh, in uh, manufacturing, and in uh, the hotel sector. And probably it's important that we frame um, what what category loans are, and that will help us understand why the increase. So it's basically, um, let me not go into the technicalities, but w what we've seen as uh, the reason for the, for, for the increase in watch category loans is really um, the uncertainty surrounding uh, performance of those sectors um, going forward. Um, we know that uh, hotel and the entire tourism value chain has been significantly affected, of course, by the pandemic and the, the, the containment measures. Um, and I guess uh, in that aspect, as banks um, did not have clear visibility of where the performance of the sector is going, how long it's gonna take to, to recover, um, and the fact that uh, a lot of these loans have been restructured, they're under moratorium, they haven't resumed payment, um, they're classified as watch, as it were, watching you know, and waiting to see how, how things are going to evolve, uh, similar to the commercial real estate uh, and to some extent also manufacturing. Um, so I guess how the economic recovery plays out over the next uh, uh, few months or years to come is going to influence how those loans eventually perform um, going forward. Uh, thank you, uh, Peace. We have uh, three questions from the East African, from Bena, Bana Namata. Uh, she writes, kindly explain why inflation remains very low, well below our target. Could this be linked to weak demand? Second question uh, says, we are seeing governments in advanced economies starting to withdraw stimulus packages to contain inflation. When are we likely to see the withdrawal of the stimulus package and measures? Last question is, uh, what do you see as major risks to the economy slash positive outlook going forward in 2022? Thank you. I don't think we have uh, any other questions. Yes, uh, thank you. I, I think we, we, we said it earlier, the, the, the main cause of the negative inflation is food inflation. We had very good agricultural performance in season B, and so that had uh, uh, an impact on uh, overall uh, inflation. And uh, we also had a best effect on the main on public transport. Last year, I remember, 
uh, transport fare had gone up in, I think, April, and then uh, I think it was in October, this was, uh, that's when it was used. So we had uh, that hike in, in public transport that had increased, uh, that in, and went, it went down, so th there was, uh, Okay, there was that inflationary pressure for, for the big part when transport, public transport was high. So that, uh, again, we had high inflation, food inflation even last year, so that base effect also uh, uh, contributes to this, uh, to this uh, negative uh, inflation we've seen. But as we said, one, the, the, the base effect of transport has been uh, uh, ironed out since October, and then We've seen uh, imported inflation picking up, and so from, uh, I think, the, the numbers we had from yesterday, I don't know if the Institute of Statistics have already published the numbers for, for, for this month. I think for last month, I think it has gone now to 0.6%, and we expect that to continue uh, to next year going up. Uh, stimulus packages, and, uh, I don't know if we really have any such stimulus packages, but uh, I know we had uh, what we called uh, uh, regulatory forbearance, uh, measures we had taken to ease uh, pressures on, on borrowers, mainly in the banking industry. Uh, so we've allowed uh, restructuring and all that. I think we've just issued uh, guidance to the banks uh, th that this ended September uh, last year, and so we expect going forward uh, uh, loan restructure, I mean loan classifications uh, to, to resume according to the normal guidance within our regulations. Uh, I think that was the main, uh, main uh, measures were taken, but, but also beginning of the uh, of the of the pandemic, we took monetary policy measures. One is the, the the accommodating monetary policy, and as we said, we are maintaining that because of what we see as economic fundamentals uh, supporting the uh, the growth of the economy. I think the other measure we taken was reducing the the the, the reserve requirement level uh, from uh, five to four percent, and we are still maintaining that. We think they still need to support liquidity within the banks uh, going forward. So I think from our end, those were the main measures. And so from the financial stability side, we've, we've issued another guidance. Uh, uh, so mm -hmm. the, the measures taken expired in, uh, in September last year, I mean, two months ago. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I would say. I don't know if PC think, yes, please go ahead. Yeah, um, I think the other the other measure was the extended lending uh, facility for banks. We had put in place a facility for uh, 50 billion rand of francs for any bank that uh, would face um, sort of tight liquidity challenges in this period um, to be able to tap into. I think the, the, the positive measure that we saw about that is that um, you know, it, it was not utilized that much, which mean, which signified that uh, liquidity really wasn't a challenge in the in the sector um, uh, during the period. Um, Governor, maybe if I could take advantage of having the microphone and also respond to the earlier question that Collins had asked about uh, the Momo Pay transactions. So what the data showed us is that um, in the week, the last week preceding uh, the introduction of fees, we were averaging transactions worth about 5.6 billion per week. Um, and that was the end of August. So when fees were reintroduced, um, there was a, a, a drop uh, to about 3.1 billion in the immediate week after the, the fee transaction was uh, introduced um, and sort of declined uh, further, but had stabilized by end of October, had stabilized at about 2.5 billion weekly transactions. Um, in terms of the, the number of transactions, it remained more or less uh, unchanged. Uh, we're still averaging close to 300,000 uh, transactions on a weekly basis. When and Jawad Masatwa, we just have to say, we tumga governor in Gutanga, no Uganda. I think Harry no tumga, we gomba kujano kuvishura, kuibutsa yuko transactions ziri munsi bihumbi bine bjo bitishuzwa yamafang. 
So it's important you call when the new issue, our fit your information, our fit your power, your Kumenya, Yango Karisabiti, I've got we should have Maganatanu, but it should have your Kubi Kuza. So Nabjo Wenda, we should have our Kamenya, uh, rights, should I say. Uh, Nabjo Avan Vamene, uh, your message, Begu. Uh, yeah, awareness is important. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So Ivan, Ivan is a, a member of the Monetary Policy Committee and uh, he's Deputy Director General of the Institute of Statistics. He wants to make a comment on inflation. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Well, I think the question from Bena uh, presents an opportunity for me to explain something uh, regarding the level, the general law level of inflation that we have observed. And as an ISA, we are happy to engage further on that. The inflation that we see is an index representing so many products, hundreds of products that we collect prices on. And um, the, what influences the change in the general index of inflation depends on the weight of products that are used by most Rwandans. So if, for example, we think of products that are consumed by most people, and here we are saying, let's like, say, foodstuffs especially, if there's a change in that price between one period, when we say, for example, inflation of October, and we are comparing October 2021 to October 2020, 2020 if there's a change, that change will be reflected, that change will be felt in the overall index. But if generally there is no change in, that, in, the, in the main products consumed by most people, the overall index won't change much. So some people here might say, well, we've observed some increase in prices here and here, or let's say cooking oil or, or a product here and there. But remember, some of those products are consumed by, let's say, a very small percentage of the population. So that means that that product has a small weight in the basket. Even if me and you might feel that change in some of those things, the overall basket hasn't necessarily been affected. And so that's why we've seen generally a very low inflation for this year, because the high increase in prices especially happened in 2020. If you recall, 2020 inflation was high. Now, in 2021, we are comparing to 2020. So there hasn't been much change since that period. And probably people have carried that change that happened from 2020. And they're wondering right now why you know, we are not having the same change. It's because we are coming from a very high uh, change, as Gavin explained. But I think that uh, bit of uh, explanation also helps people appreciate that few things might change even in this current period. But if they do not weigh a big portion in the general basket, then the general inflation won't necessarily change. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, Bana had asked one last question on the risks uh, going forward on the outlook. We are still with COVID anyway, so we, 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 we are happy that we, we have uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, improvement we see and uh, we, we, we're happy with the uh, vaccination that has brought these positive uh, developments. Uh, but we know globally, we are not yet really sure that we are out of the woods, as we say. So that remains a risk. Uh, that remains a big risk across the world, not only uh, within Rwanda. Uh, so th that is a risk to our outlook. Uh, of course, again, we uh, st agriculture still contributes uh, heavily to our economic performance, whether the economy itself or inflation, and so uh, weather conditions remains, always remains again a risk to our outlook uh, as uh, the, the world is discussing uh, climate change. We, we, for us, we see it here, I think, daily. So. This rain season has been a bit uh, uh, unstable, so we don't know exactly what will happen at the end of the day. So that, that remains also a risk to the outlook, whether on inflation or even on economic performance in general. Thank you. You wanted to add something? Yes. 
Thank you, Governor. When I get on Gono Jerekuchino, Java Jukuri Momo Pay, Mamma Vigarutseho, a host of Bitteria Vajre, Chivazo Changwase, Atanga, um, uh, 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 COVID itangira icyo gihe kufatanya inzego za leta zitandukanye harimo mini ICT mini com ndetse nibigo ari na MTN kugira ngo byegere abacuruzi bibahizo code za Momo Pay ari mu mpamvu mubona umubare w'abacuruzi bakoresha Momo Pay ko ari wageze ku 2025 n'urugero natanga ni nko muri Expo yo kwezi kwa 12 ishize aho ari MTN na Airtel begera abacuruzi akaba ribo baba hizo code za momo pay kandi ni bintu twabashishikarije gukomeza ni na na BNR mu biganiro turimo ahubwo haba hari ikibazo wende cyo twashishikariza nabacuruzi kuko nabo nabaguzi bizo services z'imari nuko bakwegera hari department muri BNR ishinzwe kurengera abaguzi ba services z'imari tukaba twakongera kugirana ibiganiro na MTN na Airtel aho umucuruzi atabone iyo code ku buryo bwihuse cyangwa se akabafite izindi mboga minsi murakoze Thank you uh, anything else I'm bringing my away masato Murakoze nagiye nkoresha amahirwe ubwo dufite Ivan wo muri statistics wenda adufashe kudusobanurira kudusobanurira niba Hadja haba hujihe chuko muhindura uh, iwikubi ya munga tewa kumuguzi Changwa uure mele bivikubi ya munga tewa kumuguzi Viti wishi njenu hundiko kumikoreshe ya zewi churuzi kwa bitandu kanye uh, Murugwanda tujira sezo Kandi hali wisimbura, hali wisimbura, hali wisimbura na wishi wishi njenu kuri sezo tujezeho Kujira nguwa ya makuru tujedu tanga, tujetu ya tanga kwa kwa janye ni mewele huya watura Jekuwa hali jetuvugi bivikubi ya nungu mkwezi kushida jari wimeze kutia Limge na limge wakatecheza kutu mkufugi jishiro chuo munsi icyo ni ni kibazo dukunze guhura nacyo icya kabiri bakavuga yuko turimo kubabeshyira tubabwira ko babayeho neza kandi mu biciro ntago byazamutse cyangwa byazamutse kuri iki gipimo kandi babona ko bikabije cyangwa turimo turavuga ko byamanutse byazamutse kandi we mu byukuri wenda byaramanutse ku gice cyabo ni mutubwiye niba mujya muhinduraho ibijyanye nibiri mu gatebe ko muguzi cyangwa uburemere bwabyo bakoze urakoze icyo ni kibazo kingenzi gifasha kwabantu bumva ko ibi biba so yes is the answer birahinduka uh, bihinduka twifashishije ubushakashatsi butandukanye ariko ubwingenzi no ubushakashatsi twita ACV ubushakashatsi bureba um, navuga consumption patterns z'abanyarwanda ubushakashatsi buba buri nyuma y'imyaka itatu no ubushakashatsi bufata umwaka wose tujenda tujya mu mago y'abantu igihe gitandukanye tureba ibintu byo bakonsuming atukaza uyu munsi tukavuga ngo ese ejo ni biki waguze cyangwa se nibyo waba wihingiye tukareba igiciro agaciro kabyo tukagaruka nundi munsi kugira ngo tube exhaustive tumenye ngo hirya no hirya mu gihugu icyambere ni bishaki byo batangiye gukonsuming ako kari bishya biba ni bisanzwe bare bikonsuming uruhe rugero noneho ugafata agaciro kabyo ibyo bashobora kwa bihingiye ariko nibyo baba baguze nabyo kareba amafaranga babiguriyeho kuko bubaza mu gihe cya hafi umuntu abayibuka so ubwo bushakashatsi rero buvanamo amakuru y'ingenzi yongera kagaragaza significance ku kinyarwanda zikunda byita um, uburemere bw'ibintu bitandukanye by'abantu bifashisha aha twibikiranye ngo tuba tureba urwanda rwose nawe ari mu mugi gusa nuko uvuga ngo rero nyuma yaho tukora urutonde tukavuga ngo ibina nibi by product by category nibyo bifite agaciro kanini nuko uvuga ngo rero niba ibyo bifite agaciro kanini nibyo bikunzwe gukoreshwa n'abanyarwanda benshi so iyo mibare iyo best yo tifashe iyo niyo dutangira tugakoresha mu gihe gikurikira nuko uvuga ngo ESV for example yarangiye ya 2017 uh, 18 yadufashe kuduha base insha yo twagende yo prices ukuntu measuring prices mu gihe gikurikira 
izo minduka yibyibaje nago zihora ziba izo substantial change nago ari change zihora ziba mu gihe gito mu Rwanda turi turi igihugu kimwe gikora nizo measures nyuma y'imyaka itatu ahandi babikora nyuma y'imyaka itanu cyangwa se nige kirenze kuko no bushakatsa zubuhenze numva umwaka wose ariko ariko no bwingenze ndide bureba nibindi bintu bijyanye n'imibereho so muri make biraba yo basket gahinduka yo basket rero ikagaragaza new levels uko bihindutse niko no rugero nagwa mu rugero nka gas mu bihe bishize um, chane chane energy yakoreshwa ga mu guteka ni chako ni ni, ni firewood ku banyarwanda benshi kandi kibya ibya ibya zakuka ariko um, twaje gusanga ko gas iri mu kugenda ifata nayo significance cooking cooking gas so ubwo no kuvuga ngo nayo yahise yiyongerwamo igira na, na weight so iyo just an example wabirebera no mu byo kurya wabirebera no mu bindi no mu zindi services cyangwa se uh, products abantu bakoresha so biraba kandi turabyifashisha uh, kandi mu byukuri imibare yuba kusanyije igihe kinini ahantu hagari ahanini ibi representing iyo general picture na representing picture yawe gusa wowe bishaka kwa bitandukanya actually na general picture because you are unique I could general picture near to Vugahan, Murakosi. Thank you. Yes. Yes, we have one question, uh, the last one from our uh, YouTube uh, followers. Uh, Iran Bonabris uh, writes, based on the value of agriculture in our, in our economy, can the government put in place an agricultural, an agriculture bank which will tailor specific agri-finance products? Yeah, I think that's an idea that has been discussed in government for quite some time now. Uh, but the conclusions have been, I don't think the issue is uh, putting up an agricultural bank. Uh, I think there are different issues uh, affecting uh, financing in agriculture. Uh, so one is the sector itself, the structure of the sector, the risks associated to the sector. I think what the government has been doing now is to uh, invest in de-risking the agricultural sector. As part of that, they, they introduced uh, uh, agriculture insurance that is subsidized by government to encourage farmers to, uh, uh, to, to take on the, the, the insurance and then encourage now the financiers of the, the farmers to, to put in money because now these farms are insured. Uh, but I think, uh, again, government is working with Belde to, to, to set up a specialized wing of Belde that will be focusing on agricultural financing. So I think the answer is not to, to set up an independent bank, but uh, a specialized function within the Development Bank of Rwanda will, will support financing agriculture. And the other uh, uh, efforts now to de-risk the sector that also encourage other financial institutions to channel their finances into this sector. Thank you, Governor. So we are toward the end. Yes. I think there's still a demand from here. Uh, turebye uko ubukungu ku rwego mpuza mahanga ubukungu uri mu baratera imbere dukurikije ikibazo twagize mu mwaka cyo cy'covid aho ubukungu ku rwego ku rwego rw'isi bwari bwasubiye inyuma afi gatatu n'ice kimwe kwijana uyu mwaka imibare twabonye yaturutse muri ikigega mpuza mahanga kimari IMF kigaragaza ko ubukungu ku rwego rw'isi buzazamuka neza muri uyu mwaka wa 2021 gatano nibice uh, icyenda ndetse no muri 2022 bizakomeza kuzamuka no muri Afrika no ukuno ntiyo tugarutse ku gihugu cyacu nyirizina uh, imibare twahawe n'ikigo uh, cyibaro bishami bare mu, mu bihembwe bibiri bya mbere by'uno mwaka igihembwe cya mbere ubukungu bwazamutse gatatu nibice bitano uh, igihembwe cya kabiri buzamuka 20 nibice bitandatu icyo twatangaje uyu munsi nuko tubona imibare twe dukurikirana umunsi ku wundi igaragaza ko n'igihembwe cya gatatu ubukungu buzakomeza kuzamuka ku kigero gishimishije eh ko twebwe imare dukurikirana itwerekaka ko 
yazamutse icumi n’ibice bitatu ku ijana ntabwo ari yo mibare y’ubukungu iyo mibare izatangwa n’ikigo cy’ibarusha mibare ariko twebwe iyo tukurikirana nayo rutwereka ko n’ubundi igihembwe cya gatatu ubukungu uzakomeza gutera imbere ikindi twabonye nuko dukurikije uko gutera imbere k’ubukungu ku rwego rw’isi na n’ibiciro bikazamuka ibiciro eh uh, yuko muri supplies bicho bibucuza impuza mahanga byatumye ubucuzi bwacu impuza mahanga nabwo gutera imbere byitweza mahanga byarazamutse cyane hafi 50 kwijana 58 nibice umunani mu gihembwe cy'agatatu kubera ari ibice byo mabuye agaciro ari ibiciro bya ikawa cyayi nanone leta yakomeje kuzamura gushishikariza kuzamu bitweza mahanga bikorerwa mu nganda ari indabo nimboga ibyo byose byarazamutse bituma amafaranga ava mu byo twezo mahanga azamuka ku kigero gishimishije ariko nibyo tumiza amahanga nabyo yakomeje kuzamuka kubera ibikomoka kuri petrole gicira cyabyo cyarazamutse so bituma ikiguzi dutanga ku bitumiza amahanga cyiyongera ariko nuko ubukungu bwagiye bufunguka inganda zarafunguye so ibyo zikenera gukoresha mu nganda nabyo byarazamutse ndetse nishora mari muri rusange ibyo twita capital goods nabe byarazamutse uko ubukungu wagiye buzamuka no gucuza impuzo amahanga bwarazamutse ariko kiza no kinyuranyo hagati y'ibyo twoheza n'ibyo dukora amahanga cyaragabanutseho gatatu n'ibice biri ku ijana twareba ku byo dukurikirana umunsi ku wundi amafaranga akoreshwa mu gihugu yarazamutse urwungu ko ku myenda ya mabanka hano hagati yayo yaramanutse dukurikije uko urwungu ko fatizo rwa banki uri igihugu rwakomeje uri hasi kuri kane n'ibice bitanu ku ijana guhera mu kwezi kwa kane ku mwaka ushize ibyo byatumye na urwungu ko hagati ya mabanka rumanukaho ibice birindwi ndetse ni urwungu ko amabanka yaka ababagana interest rate nayo biragabanuka bijya kuri 13 13 nibice 35 ku ijana ubwo ni kumuza ndengo muri rusange nanone imyenda itangwa ihabwa abagana ama banki nayo yarazamutse igendanye nuko nayo n'amafaranga bitswa ama banki yarazamutse n'amafaranga yabashora ama ari ama banki kuko mu mwaka ushize inyungu babonye kandi ntabwo zari nkeya bazugumisha ama banki ya mu bigo by'imari muri rusange reka mbari ko mbivuga so byatumye bishigikira ubucuzi bwa bwa ama banki n'ibindi bigo by'imari ku muvuduko w'ibiciro uko uko tubivuga muri uyu mwaka biri hasi cyane ndetse mu myaka mu mezi nka muri iki gihembwe turi mu byagiye kuri munsi ya 0 0 n'ibice bitandatu ariko ku mpuzu ndengo mu mwaka wose uyu mwaka turateganya ko bizabiri kuri ntabwo uguteganya ngo guteganya byasa na hari byo turi mu dupanga ariko iyo turebye uko bizagenda bizaba biri kuri 0 n'ibice 70 ku ijana muri uyu mwaka bikaba bizazamuka bikagera kuri gatano n'ibice 4 ku ijana mu mwaka utaha ubwo ni ku biciro ku muvudu ko biciro ku masoko eh icyo twishimira nuko bikiri mu kigero dukurikirana twe ku kigero fatizo ku rwego rw'ibiciro ku ku masoko dufata ko bitagombye kurenga cyane gatano ku ijana so iyo turebyira umwaka uyu mwaka biri hasi cyane ariko bizagenda bizamuka kugira umwaka utaha so muri make n'icyo navuga ku bukungu kubera ibyo rero byose akanama gashinzwe politiki y'ifaranga kasanze nta kibazo gikomeye dufite ku kubici ku mvudu ko yibiciro ku masoko isanga ubukungu bwatangiye kuzamuka buva mu kibazo twa dufite twatewe na covid mu mwaka ushize ifata cyemezo cyo gukomeza gushigikira uko kuzahuka ku bukungu ikomeza ku rwungu ko fatizo rwa central bank rugumisha kuri kane n'ibice bitanu ku ijana ya ikindi twarebye ni ku tajegajega ku rwego rw'imari nuko ruhagaze narwo navuga yuko rwego rw'imari muri rusange rwose ruhagaze neza ari amabanki ari ibigo by'ubwishingizi ari ibigo bya by'imari biciriritse ari ibigo byo bya pension so magambo make ari ibipimo dukurikirana kureba kutajegajega ku ibi bigo byose bitwerekwa ko imibare hagaze neza ubona hari amavugura agiye aba mu myaka nkine ishize hari ingamba zafashwe na leta mu ntangiriro y'icyorezo 
mu mwaka ushize ari ku rwego rwa leta ari kuri Central Bank hari nuko ibi bigo byamaze cyo bikora neza mu myaka na none nk'itatu ineshize ibi byose byatumye bigira ubudahangarwa bishobora guhangana ni ibibazo bya covid twahuye nabyo ndetse bikomeza kuba bigihagaze neza impungenge tubona ni ku ubwiza bw'inguzanyo ziri mu ma bank kubera ibibazo aba abiguriza bahuye nabyo bitewe na covid ariko kugeza ubu nta kibazo turabona gusima ibariyo twita imyenda iri muri watch imyenda ivuga ikurikiranirwa hasi yarazamutse cyane muri iki gihembwe gishize ibyo bigatuma dusama banka ko kurikiranira hafi abo ba bakiriya babo kugira ngo bafate ingamba hakiri kare bafatanyije nabo bakiriya kugira ngo iyo myenda tubona iri muri watch itazajya mu myenda itishyurwa neza so naho ubundi muri rusange tubona ari kukomeza imbere ubukungu turabona buzakomeza gutera imbere ari muri uyu mwaka no mu utaha urwego rw'imari no guhari mu iyo ako ka kantu tubona ka te impungenge k'imyenda ishobora kuza kuzagira ibaza ariko nabyo nta mpungenge dufite ko bizahungabanya kutajagajega kwa ku rwego rw'imari nabyo yo turebye capital bafite turebye amafaranga likidite bafite nta kibazo nacyo tubona cyaza bakiri hoso ubwo rero iyo turebye imbere ni byiza ariko nta wabyizera ijana ku ijana ko aracyari kicyorezo ntabwo kirarangira Burundi ibi byose turavuga twizera ko nta kindi kibazo turuzongera kugira kidusubiza muri guma mu rugo ari ku rwego rw'igihugu cyacu ari ku rwego mpuza amahanga ibi byose twizera yuko kugufungura kwatangiye kuzakomeza bigatuma ubukungu bushobora kongera gukora bisanzwe nduva amagambo akiri ibyo navuga urakoze urakoze cyane a governor uh, we have come to the end of this uh, press conference thank you once again to uh, the media houses present here and i uh, thank you governor and the committee for this for your time yeah, thank you, Bob, and thanks to my colleagues, and thanks to the media again for accepting our invitation. We go to to a fit eh in humaza chuo we yotu kavugani tu kizere kumuli we bijeze na zako kwa kuri chira ibitanga zama kuri jani. Trashi mi anawa du kuri chie kuri online. Those who follow us online, we we appreciate your time. So, mrakoze chani rumu simu.